Hi everyone, I hope that you are doing well. I am in one of my favorite places right now in Clearwater Beach and it is a gorgeous day in May. I don't know about you, but if I'm visiting a place for the first time, it is so helpful for me to kind of see where the hotels are and where the restaurants are in relation to the beach and in relation to the whole area. So I thought that it would be very helpful for you guys if I did a full tour of the main street running down in front of Clearwater Beach. Now, this is a full mile. I'm gonna walk it all. I'm gonna show you as much as I can. I think that it will be really helpful. It is 90 degrees right now. There's no clouds on the sky, so I'm really taking more for the team here, but I just really do think that it will help you a lot. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So I am starting kind of all the way down here on the north end, and I am starting right here at Sand Pearl. I actually did a video on the resorts of Clearwater Beach, and I did mention Sand Pearl and one of those resorts. So I thought that it would be great if I just started right here. So it's actually not as busy down on this side, and it is Memorial Weekend, guys. Keep that in mind. But I think that that's actually great because this is gonna give you a great idea of what the traffic is like, what the crowds are like, what the people are are like on a holiday weekend. So as you can see, starting right here in San Pearl, we have over here one of my favorite restaurants. This is a great brunch spot. It's called Clear Sky. If you're here and you want to hit brunch or breakfast, this is a great spot. We're going to walk all the way down to the end of Clearwater Beach to Opal Sands, and that is a mile. So just hang tight with me here. Um, if you see over there, this is Hogan's Hangout. This is a fairly new spot that just opened within the past year. And then right beyond that, you have the original Frenchie's Cafe. This is one of the original Frenchie spots. There are a lot of Frenchies around the beach. If you just go north, right past Sand Pearl, you're gonna find one of the best Frenchies and that one is right on the beach. So it's one of the largest spots. It's really active. It's right on the beach. I'm not gonna walk down there because I actually have a lot of walking to do going forward as we're walking down the Opal Sands, but it is right down there on the beach. So as we're walking, across the street. The beach is kind of over here to my right, kind of behind these buildings. But you can see over here, there's the brown boxer. That's a really great spot at night if you're looking for some live music or some drinks or some, um, or some nightlife. It's open late. So that's a great spot to hit at night. Just walking down this area, you're gonna find that there's um, condos here and there's a lot of shops, a lot of little restaurants, especially over here. There's a lot of little shops and restaurants over here as well. We have Blinkers Beachside, which is a great steakhouse and lounge. It's actually been here for quite a while. So this is a great spot if you're looking for some nice steak or seafood or a nice dinner. Over on the left, there's some surf shops, Maui Mix. There is a CVS coming up. I always kind of like to know where those types of things are, where you can just pop in if you need something. They're right there in Canada. We're going to start getting really busy with a lot of traffic. I hope you can still hear me okay with a lot of traffic and a lot of people just because this really is, guys, one of the busiest weekends here in Clearwater. We drove over from Orlando. We got here at by 11 o'clock and the beach was already packed out. So just to give you an idea of how busy. Um, you'll see these trolley stop signs all along the street as I'm walking. There's a great trolley here in Clearwater. Coming up, we have a great um, beach restaurant here. I recommend it. We've been here several times. It's called Salty Crab. Ice Creamery.
Um, some clothing shacks here. Coming up over to the left is Beachcomber. This is another great restaurant if you're looking for um, uh, for some steak or some fine dining. Here we have Jimmy Hula's, and I'm actually very similar with Jimmy Hula's because it actually started in Orlando. So I've been eating at Jimmy Hula's for years and years in Orlando, and we were really excited when we saw that they opened up a spot here in Clearwater as well. They have great fish tacos there. So if you're craving fish tacos, if you like fish tacos, then check out Jimmy Hula's. Okay, so we're starting to come up into the busier area. I feel like on the north end where we just came from, it's not as busy down there. It's a little quieter. We're really gonna start coming up on the prime area in the busy area. Here on the right, we have one of the surf styles. There's a much larger one that we're gonna pass soon. So stay tuned for that one. Kind of beach parking here on the right. And then over on the left, there's two cans. That is another very busy, lively area at night. So if you're looking for some nightlife, that's gonna be open late with live music and uh, lots of drinks there. So coming up, we are coming up on the Hilton, which is one of the oldest, rest of the oldest hotels here in Clearwater Beach. It is in a prime location. I have to say the thing about the Hilton is that the rooms could use some help and some refreshing and they're small. So I would say that's one downside about the Hilton. They're not great rooms, but the location is amazing and can't be beat. So it's kind of give or take. What do you want? Kind of great rooms or great location? But the Hilton's definitely a good location. This is Spotted Donkey, which is a Mexican restaurant under the Hilton, which is a great spot as well. Over there is Jammin's, which is another late night spot. You'll find a lot of like nightlife over there at night. And we're coming up close to the pier and the marina as well, which is going to be a, just a really busy area. And then after that, it's just gonna be busy. Here's a Starbucks. If you're like me, you're always gonna scope out the closest Starbucks. It is right under the Hilton, right by the pier. So for those who need their Starbucks and their coffee in their life, here it is. Coming up, we have a Surfside Tap House. We have the Ron John, a small surf shop. And then we also have a great Hooters here, which is a couple stories. As a fun fact, the first Hooters is located in Clearwater. This is not the first one. If you did see the first one, you may be a little underwhelmed because it's kind of located right in Clearwater and it's not so great, but this one is much better and it definitely has some, some great views as well. If you're there and you're on that um, second level, it looks like they've actually added a craft brewery on the third level that's been added since I've been here last. Then um, up there, it's the Three Daughters Craft Brewery. I'm actually familiar with that. I just didn't realize it was here, but from there, you have gorgeous views of the beach. Now we're entering the roundabout. This is where you're going to come in. If you're coming over to Causeway and coming in from Clearwater Beach, you're going to be right here. And we're about to kind of enter in a spot where you can either kind of fare right and go on to the um, Clearwater Beach Boardwalk, which I'm gonna do because there's some things over there I'm gonna show you. Or if you stay left, you're gonna have an area over there called the Marina. There's some restaurants over there. The Marina Cantina is a great Mexican restaurant, which I recommend. And there's also a really large Krabby Bills over here that I recommend. So I'm gonna pop down onto the boardwalk for a few minutes so that you can kind of see. And then I'm gonna pop up back up on the street to give you a better idea of some of the restaurants. So here is an area. This is the Hilton to the right. This is an area where sometimes at night they'll do movies in the park right over here. And I'm walking right now down towards where the pier is. So this is gonna be a really busy and lively area right here. And we're kind of walking down towards the beach. Guys, so over to the left, you're going to have a pretty large playground over here. Over to 
over there, lots of play equipment, and it is under shade. So if you're looking, if you have kids that are getting restless sitting at the beach and kind of just at the water, you can pop up here to the playground. We're also going to enter a spot right by the pier where there's some inflatables. There's some inflatable slides. Here's the Hilton. Here's the beach. We're heading towards the pier. Here is that large playground that I'm talking about. Over on the other side of the street is the marina where you're going to be able to rent um, jet skis, take boat rides, parasailing. There's lots of activity <laughs> over there. I might break your rim. Here we're entering the boardwalk area. Here is the kind of inflatable area I was talking about. And then the pier is right back there. You can walk to a certain point to the pier, then you have to pay a couple dollars to get to the very end of the pier. This is a great spot for sunset. So it's definitely worth those couple of dollars if you really kind of want to head out there for sunset. A lot of people go out there to fish. Here are some restrooms. And there's public parking over there. And then there's also like ice cream here at this area as well. Then we're really starting to get into the main touristy part of the beach. You can see the pier right there. We're kind of walking over into the boardwalk area of the beach. <laughs> Here we go. You can see all of those little clamshells and umbrellas down there. Those are all for rent. Here we are walking up on the Wyndham Grand, which is one of the biggest new hotels here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut over in just a second so that I can show you the, the street and where some of the hotels are because now you're kind of seeing the beach area. I feel like it's going to be really helpful for you to kind of see where some of these uh, major hotels are in relation to the beach and restaurants and other things. Now we're walking up and we're getting close to where the Wyndham Grand and where the marina is. I am going to pop off of the boardwalk area right next to the beach and I'm going to pop over so that you can have a better idea of the uh, street and the relation of the hotels. If you're here on an off day, or if you are here when it's not busy, this is a great surface parking lot. Um, like I said, we drove over from Orlando. We got here at 11 and this was completely full. So there is also some garage parking that is located under Surf Style and under the Hyatt. So keep that in mind. So I'm just gonna pop over here so that you can see. I'm walking through that surface street parking at surface parking lot that I told you about and I'm walking over to the marina so that you can see where that is and where the boat rentals are and and all of that is in relation to the beach in relation to maybe the hotel you're staying at Okay, so we're coming up on the marina right now. As you can see, there are tons of uh, rentals and parasails and pirate boats and speed boats and just tropical boats and lots of things to do here. Just to kind of give you a relation of where we are, right over there is the Hyatt, where we just, I'm sorry, the Hilton. Right over there is the Hilton, where we just were. That kind of tall building right there is where, the, uh, where Hooters is. And here we have the marina. 
And right up there is a hotel that I think is super great and super great location. It's called Pier House 60. This is not right on the beach, but the but it is such good location. It's really right across the street from the beach. And the prices are so much better than some of the prices you'll get at like the Hilton and the Hyatt and the Wyndham. We've stayed there before. It's a great spot. And they actually have a great rooftop bar called Jimmy's Crow's Nest, which is a super spot to go at sunset. So I'm gonna walk back down and I'm actually gonna walk down and I will cross the street in just a minute so that we can get down to where some of these larger hotels are at. Again, we're in the surface parking lot. We're walking towards the beach area. really say that where we are right now we're pretty much in the center of the main clear water beach area right now this is a kind of a busy touristy area right here we have a lot of people here especially right now on Memorial Day weekend when it's just a busy weekend and a beautiful weekend I thought Here you're going to see a couple of volleyball nets if you're really into volleyball there's a huge volleyball net set up down close to where i started uh it's really close to frenchies there's a lot of volleyball nets down there so if you're a volleyball player then that may be the spot you want to be so here we're walking down the beach walk area the boardwalk Way down there you can see the opal stands and that is our goal that is where we're heading right now and over to the left you have the Wyndham Grand you see a couple of towers here Wyndham Grand is in a really great location and a great spot. There's a great Japanese um, Asian fusion restaurant right there. And the pool is located right there in the front. So basically, I just want to show you guys, if you're staying in one of these hotels, the Wyndham Grand or the Hyatt, I just kind of wanted to show you where it is in relation to the street. And then you're kind of right across the street from where the beach is. I know that's kind of a big question that I get from a lot of people. It is an uh, ocean front, but just keep in mind that you are gonna have that street kind of right in between it. It's not that big of a deal. You're just not gonna be walking right out on the sand um, from your hotel onto the beach. If you're looking for that, then I would say that the Hilton and the Sand Pearl are gonna be your best bets for walking. And the Opal Sands actually from walking right out, you know, from the hotel on the sand without crossing the street. So here we have the window. There's the pool right there. If you can see those little teal umbrellas right there. The pool is right on the street. I've stayed there at the Wyndham. It's a great hotel. I haven't used the pool, so I'm not sure how loud this, this street traffic is. We are coming up this big pink hotel that you see. We are coming up on the Hyatt. This is a really large hotel. I've stayed here as well in it. One of the, um, the great oceanfront suite rooms here. It was a beautiful room. I would recommend it. But it is a super great location as well. If you're kind of looking at being right in the middle of things, then this is one that I would, I would definitely recommend. Just kind of a good shot of it. We're going to keep strolling down the beach.
it's a really lively day here. I think just the beautiful weather, Memorial Weekend, people just ready to get out and enjoy the beach. We're walking right up onto the Hyatt and you can see it's really large. There's a couple of restaurants here in the Hyatt as well. Lots of oceanfront rooms and there's actually some that are bayfront. So if you're not oceanfront and you're on the opposite side, then you'll kind of be overlooking the bay from that area. Oh no, I'm all about it. The pool and the hot tub, which I have used, is on the, if I'm not mistaken, the eighth deck here. It's a sixth or eighth deck here, so it's higher up. It's not on ground level like the window is. And there are some really large rooms in here. I've stayed in a two bedroom suite here before that was really large with a full kitchen. So if you wanted to spend a week here, then there's plenty of space here to be able to do that. back side something that I want to point out that you can't really see from here and I'm not sure I'll be able to walk the back side of the street because I'm in flip-flops and my feet may fall off but there are some uh, restaurants over on that side as well not as many but there are a few restaurants over there as well so if you go on the other side of the Hyatt in these hotels you're going to find some of the some of the larger restaurants there as well there's, there's the front of the Hyatt. There's a parking garage in there, guys. So if you're driving over from Orlando or from any other area and you're driving over from the day, there is a parking garage here in the Hyatt in a parking garage next door at the uh, Surf Style. It's right in the middle. It's great location. The price varies. We've paid $20. We've paid $25. Today is Memorial Weekend. We paid $38 to park. So it's it's kind of expensive, but you know what? We didn't have to drive around, battle, and look for a parking spot, and we were right in the middle, so we were okay with paying that for a great day at the beach. Here, right past the Hyatt, there is a very large surf style. There's a flow rider in there. They're gonna have some great beach clothes. There's a little store in there. They're gonna have a lot of stuff in there. Also, if you've been here, you know what I mean. There's a song that they play in there. I'm not going to sing it or go over there because it's gonna be stuck in your head all day. And if you've been here, you know what I mean with the surf style song. There's an island market over there that's really well stocked as well. Now we're walking down and we're coming to the end of the actual beach beach area of Clearwater. I want to point out a couple of great restaurants over here to the left. Um, there's a Frenchies over here. Like I said, there's a lot of Frenchies around Clearwater Beach. There's one right over here on the beach. It is a great and it's in a great location over here as well. If you're down on this side, I would definitely check that out. The crab fries are phenomenal as well as the grouper sandwich. So that's kind of a couple of things that Frenchies is known for. We're coming up on an area which is a, has a lot of bathrooms and changing areas in there. And that also has um, ice cream. And it looks like they're building something new here, maybe a new hotel. The area can definitely support it, so I wouldn't hate that. the busy 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 area and we're getting down to where it's just a tad bit quieter i did want to point out there's a mcdonald's here there is a mackey d's so if you're looking for something cheaper something quick it's there there is a crabby bills here crabby bills um, has locations all around there's actually one in uh, near orlando and st cloud 
and they have some great uh, seafood there as well. And if you set up on the second deck, there's a great view of the beach that is right there. We're almost down to the Opal Sands, which means we're almost down near the actual end of the actual beach um, where there's kind of this rock formation that's kind of uh, ending the beach. We're almost there. Over here to the left is Frenchies. There's a large hotel. I'm assuming it's a hotel development going in right beside of it. Now, for those of you who are looking for something that's a little less expensive, but right in the middle, there is a fairly new couple of Marriott brand hotels behind where we are right now. It's not on this street, it's on the next street over. So you are gonna have just a little bit of a walk past a couple of streets to get over to the beach, but it's still a pretty decent area. It's a fairly new hotel. So that could be a really good option for you if you're looking for something that's a little low cost. Just gonna move right over here so you can kind of see Frenchies. We have a great outdoor seating area. We're coming up on the Opal Sands. The Opal Sands is a hotel that's been there for a few years. It is this curve-shaped hotel. All of the rooms are facing the ocean, guys. This is a beautiful hotel. I've stayed there. I've actually done a video on Opal Sands um, because we just really loved it so much. It is a really great hotel. It's not cheap, but if you're looking for a newer hotel, um, if you have a couple adults or a group, then that's a really great option for you. I'm gonna pop down to the Opal Sands and walk out to the beach, but I did wanna know a couple of things. Past the Opal Sands and right past the Opal Sands, if you see those buildings back there, that's where you're gonna find Shepherd's Beach Resort. Uh, you're also going to find a Holiday Inn back there. And if you keep driving down that way, you're going to go across the bridge and that's gonna take you to Sand Key. So we're kind of nearing the end here. As I'm gonna walk out, I get a lot of questions about the Opal Sands about is it right on the beach? I'm just gonna kind of walk out here by the Opal Sands and kind of walk out on the beach so you can kind of see what I'm talking about when I say that we're at the end of Clearwater Beach. Um, Pat, but the hotels past this, you're gonna find some small man-made or private beach areas, but you're not going to be on the main Clearwater Beach with the hotels past South, past Opal Sands. So just keep that in mind with, um, this is the Holiday Inn, this is Shepherd's Beach Resort. Just kind of keep that in mind because uh, I just want to kind of fully explain what I mean here. So here we are at Opal Sands. There are also a couple of great restaurants here at Opal Sands too. Check out that video if you want to see those. We ate at both of those. One of them is an outdoor kind of tiki restaurant, which uh, is really great uh, for drinks and for sunset. This is a public parking lot as well, right by Opal Sands. So if you want to come down here, if you're looking for somewhere to park, down kind of more on the south end, there's a public, there's public parking available down here. I'm just gonna cut through this parking lot and kind of walk over by Opal Sands so that you can kind of see what the beach area looks like and what I'm talking about when I say the end of Clearwater Beach. Opal Sands also, guys, has a great pool area. I'm not really promoting them, but I just, we really do love staying there. If you're looking for kind of a more hip, cool, um, Miami beach style resort, I think this is kind of the closest you're gonna get here on Clearwater Beach. As you can see up there, there's like a little tiki bar and a little area for um, drinks and a bar, and that's kind of, it's called the sand bar where the pool is. And if you're coming to the beach, this is where you're gonna come from, down on Opal Sands. You're gonna kind of walk down here and you're gonna walk 
right out here to the beach. Sounds like there's some live music going on up there. Oh yeah, there it is. Kind of at the tiki bar. It's nice and busy up there right now. And here we walk out the sand. kind of those rocks that I'm talking about. And right here is where you're really going to start that main area of Clearwater Beach. So I am here at the very end. So this is where you can see all of those rental clamshells. We walked from all the way, way down there. You can kind of see Sam Pearl down there and the Wyndham and the Hyatt coming around here. There is Opal Sands, and right past it, we're going to have Shepherds and Holiday Inn, a couple of other hotels down there in this area. All right, that is the full tour. We walked an entire mile. You made it to the end. Hopefully that provided some insight for you on where the hotels are, where some of the great restaurants are in relation to the overall main area of Clearwater Beach. I really hope that kind of helped you out, especially if you're visiting here for the first time. I have some other Clearwater Beach uh, videos out there on the channel and of course lots of stuff in Orlando. So please subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. And guys, I hope that you have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.